And once we're familiar with the basics, why don't we work on another challenge? And effectively, we want to implement multiple returns when we fetch data, which again, is most common use case for using the use effect. And that's why, of course, we're implementing multiple returns with the fetching data example. So back in the app JSX, you should import starter from the zero to multiple returns fetch data. And then if you navigate to the file, this is what you'll see. Use effect in your state imported and then the URL that I want you to use. And then as far as the challenge, first practice on setting up the state values. So for now, practice on a user. My default value is going to be null for the user. And then fetch data from the URL. Again, you should do that, of course, in use effect and all that. And I'm not going to provide any more details. That's the challenge. And again, for now, just log the result. If you want, of course, you can set up the state value and render something on a screen. But if you see the user object in a console, then you're already in good shape. So let me navigate back to the component. And effectively, like I said, the first thing that I want to do is set up that state value. I'm going to go with const and then user and then set user. That's my function. That is going to be equal to use state. And like I said, by default, I want to provide value null. So nothing is going to be there. And now let's set up that use effect. So use effect in here. Let's provide a callback function. And let's just make sure that we invoke this again only when the component loads. So we don't want to basically run this use effect after every re-render. And up next, I want to set up that function. So I'm going to go with fetch user is equal to a sync. That's the function. And then we're going to set up the functionality where I'll right away place everything in the try and catch. And as far as the catch, I'm just going to go with error in here. And then when it comes to try, now let's again, get the response back first. And that is equal to await. So we're waiting, then fetch, will provide the URL. And let's right away turn this basically into a JSON. So const and then user is equal to await again, then response and JSON. Let's invoke this. Like I said, if you want, you can set user equal to user. For now, I just want to log this. I want to see whether everything is working as I expected. So notice over here at the moment, I don't see anything. Um, and of course, the reason why nothing is happening because I keep forgetting to invoke the function over here. So let me go with fetch user and now check it out. In the console, I should see the info about the user. And as you can see, this is just more info compared to when we fetched data. And in the following videos, we'll set up multiple returns and also we'll set up a proper JSX. Now, before we continue, you know what? Let me just go over here and then comment this one out. So essentially, we can set this one up together.